The compass, a seemingly simple device consisting of a magnetized needle and cardinal directions, stands as one of humanity's most transformative inventions. It is a tool that has profoundly shaped history, opening new frontiers and forever changing the way we perceive and interact with the world. Yet its significance extends far beyond navigation. The compass embodies human ingenuity, curiosity, and the drive to explore the unknown. Before its invention, navigation was an art fraught with peril and uncertainty. Sailors relied on the sun, moon, and stars to chart their courses, a method that faltered under cloudy skies or unfamiliar horizons. On land, explorers followed rivers, mountain ranges, and well-worn paths, often at the mercy of terrain and weather. Travel was not only difficult, but also dangerous, and the vastness of the world remained largely uncharted. The compass changed everything. Its ability to provide consistent direction regardless of weather or time of day turned perilous seas into pathways and transformed distant lands into reachable destinations. From ancient China to the Islamic world, medieval Europe and beyond, the compass became a key instrument of trade, exploration, and cultural exchange. It fueled the age of exploration, guided empires, and enabled the global interconnectedness that defines our world today. In this video, we will embark on a journey through time, exploring the fascinating history of the compass. From its ancient origins to its role in shaping civilizations, we'll uncover how this modest device became a cornerstone of human progress. Chapter 1. A World Without the Compass Before the invention of the compass, navigation was an art owned through generations of observation, experience, and ingenuity. Ancient civilizations relied on natural landmarks and celestial bodies to guide their journeys. While these methods were effective in some contexts, they were limited by weather conditions, geography, and the observer's familiarity with the terrain. In the ancient Mediterranean, seafaring civilizations, such as the Phoenicians, Greeks, and Romans, used the stars, particularly the North Star, to navigate. These early mariners developed rudimentary maps and relied on predictable seasonal winds to sail across the seas. However, navigation remained a perilous endeavor. Unexpected storms or deviations from known routes could easily lead to disaster. In the Pacific, the Polynesians demonstrated remarkable ingenuity with their system of wayfinding, which combined observations of stars, ocean swells, wind patterns, and bird migrations. They built extensive knowledge systems that enabled them to settle islands scattered across thousands of miles of open ocean. Similarly, the Vikings of Northern Europe used sunstones, believed to polarize light and locate the sun even on cloudy days, to guide their longships across the North Atlantic. Despite these advances, natural navigation methods had critical limitations. Cloudy skies rendered celestial navigation useless, while featureless landscapes and open seas left explorers disoriented. The challenges of overland travel were no less daunting. Early traders and explorers relied on landmarks, trails, and local guides to traverse vast deserts, dense forests, and rugged mountain ranges. The need for a reliable tool to provide consistent direction was apparent. Chapter 2. The Chinese Invention of the Compass The journey of the compass begins in ancient China, during the Han Dynasty. 206 BCE to 220 CE. It was here that scholars discovered the unique properties of lodestone, a naturally magnetized mineral composed of iron oxide. Lodestone had the peculiar ability to align itself with the Earth's magnetic field, consistently pointing toward the planet's magnetic north and south poles. Initially, this discovery was not applied to navigation. Instead, the Chinese used lodestone in divination and geomancy, practices deeply rooted in their cosmological beliefs. These early compasses, known as south-pointing spoons, consisted of carved lodestones placed on smooth bronze plates. The spoon's handle would always align with the southern direction, reflecting cosmic balance and harmony. These devices were primarily used in feng shui, guiding the placement of buildings and objects to achieve spiritual and environmental alignment. It wasn't until the Song Dynasty, 96 to 1279 CE, that the compass was adapted for practical purposes. Chinese scholars and engineers refined the device by magnetizing iron needles and suspending them on floats or pivot points. 
these innovations allowed the compass to function reliably on ships, where it became an invaluable tool for maritime navigation. The impact of this innovation was profound. With the compass, Chinese sailors could navigate the South China Sea and beyond with greater confidence, even under overcast skies or in unfamiliar waters. The device revolutionized trade routes, connecting China with the Indian Ocean and facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures across vast distances. Chapter 3. The Compass Travels to the Islamic World As trade routes expanded during the Middle Ages, the knowledge of the compass spread westward, reaching the Islamic world by the 11th and 12th centuries. The Islamic world, spanning from the Iberian Peninsula to the Indian subcontinent, was a hub of scientific and cultural exchange. Here, the compass was embraced, studied, and refined. Islamic navigators, already adept at celestial navigation, recognized the compass's potential for improving maritime and overland travel. They incorporated it into their navigation systems, pairing it with advanced tools like astrolabes and quadrants. These instruments, combined with detailed celestial charts, enabled precise calculations of direction and position, even on long voyages across the Mediterranean Sea, Red Sea, and Indian Ocean. The compass also held significant religious importance in Islamic culture. Determining the chibla, the direction of Mecca, was essential for daily prayers. Scholars and craftsmen designed specialized compasses for this purpose, blending scientific precision with artistic beauty. By enhancing navigation and facilitating religious practices, the compass became deeply integrated into Islamic society. Its dissemination to Europe through trade and cultural exchange marked a pivotal moment in its history, setting the stage for the transformative age of exploration. Chapter 4. The Compass in Medieval Europe the compass reached Europe in the 12th century, likely through trade routes linking the Mediterranean with the Islamic world. European sailors quickly recognized its value, particularly in navigating the often stormy and unpredictable waters of the North Atlantic and Mediterranean. Early European compasses were rudimentary, often consisting of magnetized needles suspended in water. Despite their simplicity, these devices represented a significant leap forward in maritime navigation. They allowed sailors to maintain a consistent course, even when the sun and stars were obscured by clouds. By the 13th century, European craftsmen had begun refining the compass. The introduction of the dry compass, which featured a needle mounted on a pivot within a protective housing, was a major advancement. This design made the compass more durable and practical, particularly for use on long sea voyages. The compass's arrival in Europe coincided with a surge of interest in exploration and cartography. The development of detailed nautical charts, known as portolan maps, and the invention of the mariner's astrolabe further enhanced European navigation. These tools, combined with the compass, enabled mariners to plot their courses with unprecedented accuracy, setting the stage for the great voyages of the Age of Exploration. Chapter 5. The Age of Exploration. The Compass Changes the World. The 15th to 17th centuries marked the Age of Exploration, a period of unprecedented global expansion. European powers, driven by ambitions of trade, wealth, and empire, embarked on daring voyages to map the globe and establish new trade routes. At the heart of these endeavors was the compass. Explorers like Christopher Columbus, Vasco da Gama, and Ferdinand Magellan relied heavily on the compass to navigate uncharted waters. Columbus's 1492 voyage across the Atlantic, da Gama's journey around the Cape of Good Hope to India, and Magellan's circumnavigation of the globe were all made possible by the compass's ability to provide consistent direction. The compass not only facilitated exploration, but also revolutionized trade and cultural exchange. It connected continents, enabling the exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies on a global scale. Spices from Asia, gold from the Americas, and textiles from Europe flowed along new trade routes, transforming economies and societies. However, the age of exploration also had darker consequences. The compass became a tool of colonization, enabling European powers to subjugate indigenous peoples, exploit natural resources, and establish empires. 
It is a reminder that while technology can drive progress, its impact is shaped by the intentions of those who wield it. Chapter 6. Scientific Advancements and the Compass The 16th and 17th centuries ushered in a period of profound scientific discovery and innovation, often referred to as the Scientific Revolution. During this time, the compass was not only refined, but also became a subject of study for some of the greatest minds of the era. Its design and functionality were enhanced to meet the demands of increasingly complex navigation, while its mysterious interaction with Earth's magnetic field sparked groundbreaking research. One of the most influential figures in this field was William Gilbert, an English physician and physicist who published his seminal work De Magneta in 1600. Gilbert conducted extensive experiments on magnetism, demonstrating that the Earth itself is a giant magnet. He explained how the compass needle aligns with the planet's magnetic field, dispelling myths about its operation and laying the groundwork for modern geomagnetism. Building on Gilbert's discoveries, engineers began to develop new types of compasses that offered greater accuracy and reliability. The azimuth compass, for instance, allowed sailors to measure magnetic bearings relative to the horizon, making it invaluable for determining a ship's position at sea. Meanwhile, the liquid-filled compass, invented later in the 19th century, addressed the problem of needle oscillation, providing more stable readings on rough waters. These advancements were crucial during the age of sail, when maritime trade and exploration were at their peak. Navigators could now venture further and with greater precision, crossing vast oceans and braving treacherous conditions with the confidence that their compass would guide them safely to their destination. Chapter 7. The Compass in the Industrial Revolution The 18th and 19th centuries brought about the Industrial Revolution, a transformative period characterized by rapid technological progress and global expansion. As industries flourished and transportation systems evolved, the compass found new applications and faced new challenges. The rise of iron-clad ships posed a significant problem for traditional compasses. The large quantities of iron used in these vessels created magnetic interference, causing compass needles to deviate from their true alignment. To address this issue, engineers developed techniques to compensate for the magnetic influence of the ship's structure. Devices such as the binnacle, a protective housing for the compass equipped with adjustable magnets, became standard features on naval and commercial ships. The compass also adapted to the needs of emerging transportation technologies. Railroads, which revolutionized land travel, relied on compasses to plan and construct routes across vast and often uncharted territories. Similarly, the invention of the gyroscopic compass in the early 20th century provided a solution for navigation in iron-rich environments such as modern battleships and submarines. This innovation used a spinning gyroscope to maintain orientation independent of Earth's magnetic field. As trade and travel expanded globally, the compass became a symbol of industrial and maritime dominance. It enabled the rapid movement of goods, people, and ideas, connecting the world in ways previously unimaginable. Chapter 8. The Compass in Aviation and Modern Exploration With the advent of aviation in the early 20th century, the compass found a new frontier. Early aviators, flying in uncharted skies without the benefit of modern navigation systems, relied heavily on magnetic compasses to maintain their bearings. The compass became an essential instrument in the cockpits of the first airplanes, guiding pioneers like Charles Lindbergh during his historic solo flight across the Atlantic in 1927. However, navigating in the air presented unique challenges. Magnetic fields were often distorted at high altitudes and rapid changes in direction could disorient pilots. To address these issues, Engineers developed specialized aircraft compasses that accounted for the dynamic conditions of flight. These instruments were calibrated to function reliably in extreme environments, ensuring safe navigation across continents and oceans. The compass also played a critical role in polar exploration, 
explorers such as Roald Amundsen and Robert Falcon Scott relied on specially designed compasses to traverse the magnetic anomalies of the Arctic and Antarctic regions. These compasses, adapted to work in the extreme cold and near the magnetic poles, were vital tools in their quests to conquer some of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Even as radio navigation and GPS technology began to emerge in the mid-20th century, the compass remained an indispensable backup tool. Its reliability and simplicity made it a constant companion for adventurers and explorers, pushing the boundaries of human achievement. Chapter 9. The Compass in the Digital Age in the 21st century, digital navigation systems such as GPS, Global Positioning System, have largely supplanted traditional compasses in everyday use. Yet, the compass has not been rendered obsolete. Instead, it has evolved to meet the demands of modern technology. Digital compasses, embedded in smartphones, smartwatches, and other electronic devices, use magnetometers to replicate the functionality of a traditional magnetic compass. These tools provide real-time directional information, often integrated with GPS and mapping software for enhanced accuracy and convenience. Despite these advancements, the compass continues to serve as a vital backup tool. In situations where electronic systems fail, whether due to signal loss, technical malfunctions, or environmental interference, a simple magnetic compass remains a dependable alternative. It is an essential item in survival kits used by hikers, campers, and outdoor enthusiasts to navigate remote and rugged terrains. The compass has also found a place in space exploration. While Earth's magnetic field is absent in space, the principles of directional orientation have inspired the design of navigational systems for spacecraft. Instruments modeled on the compass help guide probes and rovers as they explore distant planets and moons, extending humanity's reach into the cosmos. Chapter 10, The Cultural and Symbolic Legacy of the Compass Beyond its practical uses, the compass holds deep cultural and symbolic significance. Throughout history, it has represented exploration, guidance, and the pursuit of knowledge. In literature and art, the compass often serves as a metaphor for finding one's way, both literally and figuratively. In ancient Chinese poetry, the compass was celebrated as a symbol of harmony and balance, reflecting the principles of feng shui. During the Age of Exploration, it became an emblem of discovery and ambition, appearing in maps, manuscripts, and maritime folklore. In modern times, the compass has transcended its functional role to become a powerful cultural icon. It is a popular motif in tattoos, jewelry, and logos, representing direction, purpose, and resilience. For many, the compass is a reminder to stay true to one's path, even when faced with uncertainty or adversity. The enduring appeal of the compass lies in its simplicity and its universal relevance. It speaks to the human spirit of exploration, the desire to seek out new horizons, overcome challenges, and navigate life's journeys with confidence and curiosity. Conclusion, a timeless guide. The compass is more than a tool. It is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. From its origins in ancient China to its role in shaping global exploration, trade, and culture, the compass has guided humanity through some of history's most transformative eras. Its legacy is one of connection and discovery. The compass not only bridged continents and civilizations, but also united people in their shared pursuit of knowledge and understanding. It has illuminated paths through the unknown and inspired generations to venture beyond the familiar. As we look to the future, the compass remains a powerful symbol of our collective journey. In a world where technology often overshadows simplicity, it reminds us of the value of fundamental truths and the enduring importance of direction, both in navigation and in life. Whether charting the seas, exploring the stars, or finding our way through life's challenges, the compass continues to guide us toward new horizons. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this exploration of the compass, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Where will your compass guide you next?